Monday. Thank you, thank you, Elvis. Oh, there is a lot of you here. There are a lot of you here. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hi. This is probably going to start with... Oh, before the presentation. Oh, here it is. I'm going to start with... Before we start talking about theoretical knowledge, <laughs> there's not going to be a lot of it. I'm going to start talking, I'm going to introduce you to my situation. So, with how did I start working with plant-based nutrition? So, I remember going to work or after work, sitting by a computer and trying to make myself work. But what I really want to do is crawl into a corner and just sleep. And something that really kept me going was cacao, because I really didn't like coffee, but it kept me going. So I tried to survive like that, just living on cacao. And through all kinds of coincidences, uh, my family moved to a plant-based diet. And at that point, I realized, why am I so sleepy and lethargic after eating? Because the diet that I was having made me sleepy, made me feel heavy. And, and this realization helped me realize that I want to switch up my profession, switch up my career, and understand how can I help people and myself uh, better their lives through diet, to work better, work harder, and this was during my studies. But nowadays, after lunch, I don't feel tired at work. I can keep doing what I intend to do. And this was the idea. Yeah? This, is, this is probably how a lot of you feel after a meal. Yeah? Just immediately sleepy. So right now, So, what are the benefits of plant-based nutrition and a plant-based diet? How do you know? What do you think? Uh, health, okay, health is good for you. What? So, what's in in fruit and vegetables? Nutri nutrition, uh, fiber, vitamins, and all kinds of things. But so, when when you when you read, for example, f about uh, oil that uh, oil has plant-based oil has no uh, cholesterol and of course because <laughs> plants can have cholesterol but it's a great marketing trick so uh, going moving on to a plant-based uh, diet does ask more from us uh, it asks us to plan more to think about our diet more but conceptually it's already the question for all kinds of diets yeah. so uh, we have to plan and still even if we try to move on to a plant-based diet and we feel like there's something missing in the nutrition with that we receive we can uh, use all kinds of uh, plant-based uh, nutritional uh, vitamins uh, that we can um, use to substitute these nutrients and vitamins that we need uh, what about the uh, health risks or the bad things about eating a plant-based diet? So uh, uh, it is not just the fact that uh, talking about protein, but a lot of people think about chips and fries when they think about plant-based diets. And even though chips are made of uh, plant-based products, yeah, it's still if it they are being uh, produced in a in a large um, quantities, yeah, they are usually uh, still considered an unhealthy food. So, a lot of the time, I uh, I see people uh, that they say that oh, when I started the plant based diet, I don't feel like I have the strength, I don't feel like I have the energy, and they say oh, it's everything, uh, everything's opposite to what you told us. 
So this might usually be the, because of a lack of iron uh, and, or other vitamins and nu nutrients. So what you have to do is go to a specialist and ask, what should I do? We can take all kinds of... Uh, uh, Blood, we can do blood work and uh, find out uh, what kind of uh, nutrients are you missing and improve your diet to, to match this. And many times you just have to eat more uh, nuts or more dried berries because there's a lot of nutrients and, uh, and uh, vitamins in it. Yeah? So, uh, for example, eating uh, rye bread is probably better than eating uh, white bread. So maybe if you're tired, there's just something that is lacking in your diet. But if we uh, look at your blood work and figure it out, we can decide uh, how to improve your diet. So today, I want to give you five reasons why it, I think it is important for us to uh, uh, use mo a more plant-based diet uh, as the base for... Uh, our nutrition intake. So, probably in Ventspils you have been uh, to a to children's playground and see little little kids with so much other energy, and you can uh, probably uh, you're probably thinking, where do these kids get so much energy? And I'm pretty sure that if somebody can find out how to get get the energy from the children th that are ready to run around and if we can somehow uh, make it into el electricity you could probably win a Nobel Prize but uh, as grown-ups or uh, young adults how can we get this source of uh, energy just like the kids well it is uh, plant-based nutrition because a lot of uh, plant-based uh, uh, plants and foods already already contain the enzymes needed to uh, to to give to your body and so if you eat foods that already have the enzymes to break themselves down then it your body uses less energy to break down these foods because they help themselves break down and after a meal you won't have this food crush crash where you have no energy so we already had a question about uh, protein and yes a plant-based diet can uh, support you with all the protein needed but it takes a bit of planning Usually, in plant-based diets, uh, you don't have all the amino acids needed in one plant, like it would be in, for example, beef. But there are going to be some en enzymes in beans, some enzymes in nuts. So you have to combine. You have to combine these uh, categories of nutrition and these different foods to ensure that you get the. Uh, right amount on and variation of amino acids that you that your body requires a lot of people say you know that oh vegetarians vegans don't get enough protein yeah but statistically it's even proven that no usually uh, people uh, on these types of plant diets can get the uh, the uh, amount of protein that their bodies require the second thing that i would like to mention is uh, ability the ability to concentrate of course you understand that if you have homework or some kind of job that you have to do there's nothing more important than the ability to focus on the job at hand and how can a plant-based di diet help us in this situation if we don't eat a croissant or a sausage during breakfast that usually have all kinds of uh, fatty acids uh, that clog up our arteries and circulate uh, that clog up our artery arteries and instead we choose a plant-based diet 
then we get better s blood circulation better oxygenation of uh, blood and you can concentrate and think way better than uh, than with a meat-based diet and it also works for people older people so rem remind your uh, grandpa or grandma to uh, keep eat some vegetables because that will help them uh, keep their mental capacity even in an older age so stress lessening stress it would be perfect that each of us would have time during the day to do some yoga to meditate or maybe run run a bit or do some exercises it would be great and it is great but there are other things that we can also do to improve our stress and one of them is through our plates if we look at what science has shown it's interesting to see that uh, if we have a lot of uh, animal based products and mess less uh, less plant plant based uh, foods in our diet then we uh, have less cortisol in our uh, blood yeah which is necessary for the flight or f uh, flight response so if we have less animal based products in our diet we lower these levels of cortisol and help our uh, bodies to be more calm and to be more ready to uh, deal with stress in a natural way another very important thing is being being out of bed and being healthy to be able to go outside uh, to be able to achieve your uh, goals and new business ideas and of course if we are sick we cannot do this so we need to uh, charge our immune system and how could uh, plants help us a plant based diet help us with this is by helping us with all kinds of vitamins and antioxidants that can be found in plant-based uh, products uh, which improve our our immune system and help us get sick less we you probably have heard about this uh, rainbow plate you know that you have have to have different colors of foods uh, from different nutritional groups on your plate you know that we cannot lessen or mimic the actual uh, the actual vitamins and nutrients that we can get from an apple and put them in a pill we can't really do that the best one would be the one that comes from nature and of course the fifth one last one is well-being if I were just uh, take this remote and throw it somewhere into the crowd by looking at uh, medical statistics I would probably hit somebody uh, who is uh, active then he would probably be happier the same way if you don't think as much about physical activities and uh, and diet you probably feel less happy it's just just research research shows that eating a proper proper diet and uh, exercising will improve your sleep uh, help you deal with stress better help you lose weight it will improve not only your uh, health but emotional and physical well-being you feel better about yourself you be feel more confident you can achieve more and uh, realize your goals just as some examples for uh, plant-based uh, random plant-based research on uh, pla uh, plant-based diets yeah, and you can see that uh, uh, a plant-based diet reduces the uh, 
issues with the uh, heart problems uh, they help you manage your weight they help you manage your uh, blood sugar levels and uh, your uh, how you and how you respond to uh, to sugars and uh, a plant-based diet helps uh, you reduce the possibility of uh, getting diabetes for example uh, of becoming overweight and uh, it also lessens the how lessens the possibility of you getting Alzheimer's or other types of uh, uh, diseases that come with age and usually are increased by the possible uh, increased by eating a uh, animal product based diet so by being a plant by eating a plant based diet we can reduce the chance of all kinds of illnesses and improve our well-being and uh, live longer lives so then th the most important thing that i would like to say is that we should be able to think about our health and evaluate it and only when we can compare how important is it is it to have days uh, when you feel healthy and when you feel strong and compare them to days when you feel bad and uh, and don't feel like you have the strength to do something if we can compare these two days you can probably very clearly decide and see which is the correct way to go which is the correct path for you to take so of course everything starts with what we put on our fark so i would recommend you to try out a plant-based diet and see how it feels to feel different thank you huge thanks to guna from ventspils